Good morning, print fam. Happy Thursday. My name's Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. Bob's out there doing his cutting thing. I'm applying signs. That's what I'll be doing most of the day. We do have a couple of orders that we need to cut, but I need to get this off the cutter. But I need the table. So, working on signs to get those all done. But I was using my big squeegee to apply these and it's just, it was hurting my hand. It's so heavy, it's a lot longer than I need. And I happened to have an 18 inch piece of acrylic. My wife had some felt, so I used some banner tape with the felt. And this thing is awesome. This is the big squeegee that I needed for this job. It makes it go so much faster and it doesn't hurt my hand. So let's get applying. Bob and I just finished lunch. Bob's still cutting. He's got one more roll after Ready. this. We think there's 60 on there. I'm in the other room applying. We're tired. We're sick and tired of yard signs. Even though I'm trying to get more. So we'll keep on keeping on, I guess. See you a bit. Prim fam. It's 5.32. We're tired. We, I basically applied 250 blanks today. I don't think I did very many yesterday. Bob cut all of them. I applied all of them. Our hands hurt. I'm trying not to yawn in front of you. <laughs> We're tired. The customer will be here any minute to pick them up. They're supposed to set them up tomorrow. I haven't done any other work today, so I still have lots to do. Uh, we gotta cut these still, because I was supposed to get them in the mail. So we'll at least get the tracking numbers sent off to them and we'll get them in the mail tomorrow. Now that the table's cleared, we can finally take those off, weed them, apply some transfer tape. Silence your phone, Bob. Just wanted to let you know it was happy. Did you, did you tell the AC to turn off? No, I should probably do that. Go push the button. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to just do a quick wrap up of the, this job. This is, in total we've done about 600 signs for them, right? Oh yeah. But this last set was a single order. For them. What did you learn from this order? If it wouldn't have been with veterans, it would have been a lot more money I would have charged for these single prints. Any Anything else that you learn besides I hate pricing. vinyl. Vinyl print. Cutting vinyl to apply to yard signs. Like, it if sucks. I can build enough in, outsource it. Outsource it, or we just need to build up the business enough so we can buy a flatbed. <laughs> that too as well. Um, there's one there's one we're looking at I've learned well I learned from this that having the right tool makes all the difference you can get by with not having the right tools or not doing it the right way but having the right tool makes a big difference so like I was using the big squeegee that you can see behind Bob and it just was heavy and awkward. It made it so I could apply it in a single stroke, made it so there weren't bubbles. But as soon as I switched to on top, my homemade one, his wife was so gracious to make. This was perfect. You like it? What do you guys think about it? <laughs> Just kidding. But <laughs> like even this, I would do it different. If I were to use this long term, I'd make it shorter. I'd maybe add felt on both sides so that 
grabbing it was a little softer, maybe add something more round. But this was 10 times better than that. I would not be done if I was using that because this weighs like a pound and that weighs like five, if not more. And that's what I learned. You did pick up the pace quite a bit because I had an easy 150 cut and I was down to the last roll and then all of a sudden you're like, do you have any more? I'm all done. And I'm just like, no, it, it did kind of, I was getting sluggish and wanted to take a break, but because you said that I- That's because Bob was watching his anime. I was. Got distracted. With some cool fight scenes. Bob's watching anime. I was watching House. <laughs> Two totally different ends of the spectrum. So, well, Bob's going to probably go home and sleep. I'm going to work some more. So I got to go design a banner for a customer. Bob's going to go work, too. And stickers and thank you cards. I got a lot of work to do. This project has taken up the last three days, though. Things are looking up, and I'm very happy. Oh, they're here. I have to go print fam. See you in a bit. You're on you're on a soda cup too. Bob's <laughs> Bob stole the tripod, so it was so nice to have. <laughs> you're on you're on a cup. If I didn't have to see another yard sign, I'd be okay with that. But I know Bob's customer already said they got six more. But let's get some more stuff done. Yeah, I go get some vinyl. Razor blade, check, pick, check, scissors, check, Bob mutilated my sign, thanks Bob. Anyway, so we got the primary logo here, let's make it so you guys can see this a little bit better. So we got the primary logo here, then we have some text here. The reason why I have two is because I always tend to screw up and I had room, so I did it. But, got the razor blade because I can see the vinyl. So I am just gonna score it as if I were a drag knight. And then I'm also gonna score this way. Then I'm gonna score between the two rows of text. Rabbit. Rabbit. Then I'm gonna score between the text and the logo. Because now what I've done is I've made it simple blur weed. So rather than having to do big sections, I have more manageable stuff. Now, if this was just purely cut vinyl, Flexi 
has a feature built in that lets you add, I call them easy weave lines, but they're basically, I don't even remember what they call them, but they're weed lines to make it easier to weed. But they don't offer the feature on print and cut, which is sad. You could manually program some stuff in, but I usually find that a sharp knife works great. So as you can see there, it worked pretty well. You can see that, well, you guys can't see that as well as I can. I should probably move you closer. So this weeded out really nice. And we're going to do the same thing with the logo. Again, we need to do the whole thing. Forgot it. You can see this got caught. So if I play my cards right, I'll be able to release it. If I don't play my cards right, then I have a second print. So, I got it. And again, this is why I like scissors, because then I can cut stuff and not have to worry about it. You can also use your blade. A little trim, trim there. Trim, trim here. There, trim, here, trim. Everywhere, trim, trim. to do is the innards. Flexi calls it with or without holes. I usually just stick it all to my finger and then put it in the garbage can. It's nicer when they're bigger. All right, I, I did it. Didn't mess up. So now since I have a second one, rather than doing the whole thing, I'm just gonna do the logo. Because they do have another door that they could put it on and it will give me another thing that I can potentially sell it. Sometimes I'll stick the vinyl to itself so that I don't get it caught on something. And you can actually, let me turn this around and show you. You can actually see on this one that my cut line is off. So the spacing is wrong. So I probably actually won't take this and sell it to him. This first one is correct. The spacing is right. But for some reason, the second one is off. So we are just gonna focus, dude. There we go. Just gonna apply some transfer tape here and then we can take it to the customer and install it on their window. All right, so with the transfer tape, 
with smaller decals. The way that I typically do it is put the adhesive side up and roll out the transfer tape. Up the transfer tape with my crappy scissors. I need to get some nicer ones. I have a couple of nice pairs floating around the office, but not enough. So now that I have the sticky side up, I hold it. And I just make sure that as I lay it down, I cover the whole thing, laying the center down first. And then I start with the squeegee in the middle and work my way to the edges. This is a medium tack transfer tape. I'll have links to it down in the description. And then at this point, I take my crappy scissors again. These ones don't like to slide on the tape. And cut it out. I don't care if it's straight. I don't care if it looks straight, I don't care if it is straight, because when I install it, I measure from the graphic, not from the edges. And this customer is paying me to install this. All done. Now we'll install it probably tomorrow. All right, so I've got the vinyl that was up on my vinyl rack installed. Usually I have the wheels space every two triangles. And then when I put it on, I usually line up the black barcode mark here. You can tell that it's definitely not straight, but the cutter will account for the skew. So here you can see, I can just move it back and forth, left and right. So I'll just push play so that it sets the origin. And we'll click the barcode mark. And at this point it says, move tool below barcode. So you just have to get the tool underneath. And by tool, it's this guy right here. So this is actually gonna drop down so it can read the barcode, but it does it by itself by coming all the way over here, and this little lip catches to force it down. It'll come back over, scan, and it looks for this edge. Once it finds that edge, then it will come over to here, and then it will scan the barcode. So now that it's underneath, we're gonna hit play. So again, puts it down. the line, lines the barcode, reads the barcode, now it's calling on Flexi to get the job, and now it's going to read all the oppo marks that are every, I think, 7, 8, 12 inches, I don't know, you can program it. So it's going to do that, then it's going to cut the job out. This particular job is circles, and then you can see batches of 12, it's going to perf cut those batches of 12. So again, it's reading all the OPPO marks or OMOS or whatever they are. And then when it's done reading all those, the last thing it's going to do is scan the bar to check for skew. So one more mark and then skew.
So hopefully you can hear me. One of the main reasons why I went with the print and cut solution, meaning basically the Suma cutter instead of the Graftech, was for this automation. The fact that I printed this job two days ago and I don't have to go find it in Flexi to send it. I don't have to touch any buttons, I don't have to do anything. And I liked that because one, makes it simpler for me, but two, if I hire someone, they don't have to think, they don't have to do anything. They just know that if I load it in the cutter, have it scan the barcode, it'll do its thing. So it makes it so I don't have to have as talented of employees, I can just have bodies. And that's why I did the Duplo. It's a lot easier to say, hey, run this through the Duplo to get your business cards rather than, hey, use the stack cutter to cut out the business cards. It takes the thinking out of it. So I can pay someone $8 an hour, $10 an hour to do these tasks eventually, rather than having to find someone and pay them $20, $25 an hour to do these tasks. I can take that money to either buy more machines or buy a graphic designer for in-house or buy a video editor. You know who I'm talking about. Things like that. So my two cents, we're gonna cut that. And then we've got one more job right there that we'll do next. All right, Profam, it's time to call it a night. I came back out after the kids got home and helped put them to bed and I was going to do some shirts, but I was just too tired. I did get a laptop ready for my sister-in-law that I helped her purchase and just removed all the junkware on it and went through some emails. We did get all those um, stickers done, packaged, to be sent out in the mail tomorrow. And that's about it. Um, I did have a couple of questions today in the comments asking how my Etsy store's doing. Not so great. I haven't really pushed it. Um, been too busy with yard signs basically for the last week. So now that that's all over, then we'll put some more time into getting some other things done. Tomorrow we do have some artwork that we gotta go through for the new soda shop company. They have sent me a bunch of things. They don't have menus and they need to remake menus. They don't have digital files and all sorts of fun stuff. So we've gotta do that. My plan is to do some shirts. I gotta send off some designs to be digitized so that we can embroider them. I need to do a couple shirts for Bob on the embroidery machine. So Bach is gonna get maybe a little bit of love tomorrow. Um, I think that's about it. I might have a business card order, uh, depending on if they approve the artwork. They emailed me and were like, oh, that's awesome. And I asked them what paper they wanted. Haven't heard back, but when they messaged me, they're like, I need these super quick. So we'll see how that goes. So a little bit of everything tomorrow. Some shirts, business cards, Bach. Who knows, we'll probably end up running the, the latex too. Um, I know Bob's working on a banner. Um, there's some truck vinyl that I could do, magnets, so make sure you join us back tomorrow. So, as always, if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. Thanks for all those that have recently subscribed. It's been fun to see the numbers go up, so definitely appreciate that. You can support the channel with the links in the description, Patreon, Amazon affiliate links, other affiliate links, commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing, all that fun stuff. But we do appreciate you just being here. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see all the fun stuff that we're doing. Bye, bye, bye. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.